It was a site that uh, sparked some safety concerns for parents, caused a school to go on lockdown yesterday afternoon. Take a look. It was also caught on cell phone video. It's of an armed man walking adjacent to Gloria Hicks Elementary School. The video was taken right around 3.30 Tuesday as students were let out for the day. Police were also called, so we wanted to know, is what he was doing legal? Bill Churchill joins us now with this verify for us. Bill. The simple answer is yes, what the man was doing is legal. We can verify that. But parents we spoke with questioned the man's intentions and whether it was the appropriate place to exercise his right to carry. Extra security on hand outside of Gloria Hicks Elementary School on McArdle. One day after this video surfaced on social media that shows an armed man walking across the street from the school, authorities say he ended up having a long gun as well as a sidearm. You actually don't understand what a person is thinking or what they're doing so it's not safe to do it in front of a child. I'm, I'm open to the open carry, but across from an elementary school where kids ain't but 10 years old, I mean, I don't think that's fine. According to police, the man was making a point that he had a constitutional right to carry, protected by the Second Amendment, and that the man did not break any laws, and at no time did he threaten anyone. We were there to try to ensure that no criminal offense took place, and with the hopes of settling nerves. CCISD Police Chief Kirby Warnicky told me there are a couple of things they look at. One is unlawful carry, which addresses handguns. He said after checking out who the man was, he did in fact have a permit to carry. The other would be what's called places of weapons prohibited. According to the Texas Penal Code, premises means a building or a portion of a building. The term does not include any public or private driveway, street, sidewalk or walkway, parking lot or parking garage. Had he come onto the premise and gone into a building, then he's violating the law and he would have been arrested. So again, we can verify that even though he was near a school, it was perfectly within his rights to have a weapon. For this Verify, I'm Bill Churchwell. Okay, thank you, Bill, for that.